Hello learners, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're going to talk about the structure that are present under the nine abdominal regions and we are going to talk in a very much detail we're going to and we're going to explain each and every structure that is present in the inside or under the abdominal region by using this diagram and by mentioning the names of different structure which are present in different uh, abdominal regions so we have nine abdominal regions a quick fact that there is a one structure that is present in all the abdominal region that is the small intestine intestine we're going to talk about each and every structure present but I just gave you a quick review of how we're going to define and how I'm going to explain them using this diagram so I want you to stay with me and one thing more if you haven't watched our video of how how we divided this abdominal region and why we divide the abdominal abdominal abdomen into nine regions you must check out check that out check that video out so you can uh, grasp a good concept so let's get started the way we're going to start is by we're going to start by as two figures and we're moving toward the stomach and again small intestine intestine then moving towards the large intestine and coming to the rectum and then we will be just talking about the liver then pancreas kidney gallbladder every structure that is present in the abdominal region and this is uh, this is the uh, this is the same picture I just divided different portions these are nine portions one two three four five six seven eight nine we have talked about it if you don't know what is this why we have divided and what we're talking about you must check that video out so you must understand this video all right so we have divided the abdomen to nine region this is epigastric lim uh, uh, umbilical and hypogastric and on this side we have got left hypochondriac lumbar and iliac then again right right lumbar right hypochondriac and right iliac so let's get started and let's let's us start from the esophagus so remember the esophagus uh, the when the, when we come downward the esophagus it only occupies one region in the abdominal and the nine abdominal region that is the epigastric so you can mention that esophagus is included here and now moving from esophagus to the stomach you can see esophagus this part is the esophagus this is only present in this uh, this quadrant and I'm sorry not quadrant this region quadrant is something else so as we move downward from esophagus to the stomach so stomach occupies three spaces or you can see three regions which region this region is epigastric this above one epigastric left hypochondric and umbilical you can see the stomach I have made this stomach you can see it, the stomach occupies the epigastric the left hypochondric and the guess it right umbilical so we'll mention the stomach into three areas so we should know that the stomach is located in these three regions stomach and stomach so as we move downward from stomach to the small intestine all right so the small intestine this is a very amazing thing the small intestine covers up all the regions very interesting thing like you can see this is present in the umbilical region small intestine you can see here I have already shown here so it's in the right hypochondric I have dotted it in the, in the upper region so I, I do not mess up the diagram you can see it's in the epigastric you can see the dotted lines and in the umbilical, umbilical re, uh, in the hypo hypogastric region in the umbilical region and you can see I have also uh, mentioned it in the right iliac and again in the left lumbar and again in the left iliac and even you can see here in with the, I have made it with the dotted lines even it's present uh, it is present you, you can see here it's present in the left hypochondric so we can simply simplify it that the small intestine is the only structure that is present is the only structure yeah I'm 100% I'm sure it's the only structure that is present in all the regions so I'm just uh, denoting it by uh, small intestine by the word SI so you must understand what I mean by SI all right so SI is present in all the area that's a very interesting thing SI all right the small intestine now moving from small intestine to the large intestine in the case of large intestine we will be we'll be using different parts of the large intestine and using their name 
But to give you just a quick review, the large intestine occupies all this space except this region that is the hypogastric region. Again, because in the hypogastric region, it converts into the rectum. So re you can say that rectum uh, is the part of, uh, kind of part of large intestine, but it, it's, it, it's defined, uh, you know, separate from the large intestine. So rectum is in this part, hypogastric, but large intestine is uh, actually present in the all the regions let me explain it how oh here look at this this is appendix we will be talking about appendix uh, so uh, let's just mention it appendix is present in this region you can see appendix which is also part of kind of this all right so we move from appendix this is this is the large intestine so this is the part of large intestine which is called the casein all right then again we got what we got the ascending colon starting here so we have ascending colon we move upward we have the ascending colon again ascending colon we cross this point over here we also have the part of the ascending colon and we move inward towards uh, towards the epigastric epigastric region you can see that this in this region the uh, the uh, transverse colon or of the or the part of the large intestine is on the both side it's also in, in the epigastric region and it's also in the umbilical region so that's why we uh, include the uh, what you can say the transverse colon in both the structure so you can say that uh, when we move from ascending colon towards the epigastric region we have got the uh, transverse colon all right we will again be over here what we got again transverse colon that's it right and from here we move downward as we move down you can see we are moving downward we're getting I'm sorry I forgot to mention here it's also transverse colon here because I have shown it already so we're getting downward so this is descending colon again here it's descending colon the part of the large intestine and we as we enter from descending colon we enter towards this region this descending colon is converted into the rectum which is the ending part all right guess it we we're done with the esophagus we're done with the stomach we got we're done with the small intestine we're done with the large intestine now we're going to talk about the liver